you guys know that the rats like to fall from a stand and they hope you My friends here by Sibro Let's check out Hey Google What time is it? It's 4.03 a.m. Uh, yes. Let's go! Disney! Wakey, wakey! And we're off. Oh my god, it's so early. I'm vlogging. I'm just making vlogs. Don't worry, babe. Oh. Lord knows I need that. My name is spelled like that. Marcel. Marcel. The pilot waits in line like everyone else. Back of the line, buddy. Yeah, you'd think he'd be on there first. No, no, no. We all wait. Okay, Reefa Palooza Orlando. Hola. Really busy this year, which is nice to see. This is probably my favorite venue out of any of the Reefa Paloozas for a number of reasons. One, it's beautiful, it's huge, and carpeted floors. I know it sounds dumb, but when you walk around for six hours, it makes a world of difference. So we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna try and do the lanes in order. As you guys know, I uh, suffer from some serious ADD and it's very busy and overwhelming in here. So maybe we'll start with this lane and then we'll work our way through and see what's up and say hi to some folks and see what's new and try and find some corals. And then my friend from London at, over at Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. Maybe you know Paul, hello to UK fam, reefing fam. Um, he is actually over here. So we're gonna give him some, some show time and get someone else's kind of opinion and commentary on one of these things. It is really, really busy in here right now, which is good. It's good for the hobby. It's nice to see people come out. There was this little thing called a pandemic a couple years ago. Uh, maybe you heard about it. And this just didn't happen, obviously. What is this lineup for? What is everyone waiting for? Check this out. Actually, we got inspired. We now offer that on our website. There's $25 and $50 mystery coral options. We're over here at Top Shelf Aquatics. I would say arguably the nicest acro in the game right now. We had the pleasure of visiting the facility last year and we're going over there again on Sunday for a video tour to check them out again and see what's new. But when it comes to SPS, these guys, for me, for me, they're at the top. They're, they're the kings when it comes to that coloration, quality, overall health. Looks like he's just filling up the tank there. But Mystery Coral, if you have the balls to do it and usually end up with something a little bit more expensive than one you picked out. And that's kind of the reason why we come to things like that. That was just a simple idea that we stole from them and it is huge on our site and we sell a ton of those. So nice. I love when people come up and say, hey, March, what's up, Frank Box TV, love the videos. So my girlfriend's here and she's She's like, why are they selling bongs at a coral <laughs> convention, huh? Why, honey? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're not bongs. These are really, really sexy reactors from Geo Reefs. Beautiful reactors. I actually had the idea of setting up one of these recently and pulling off our... Uh, we have Chato growing. Chato, Cheeto, Kato. You know what? Let's just put this to an end. It's called Chato. C-H in the English language is pronounced Ch. Cheetos. You don't say Cajitos. So they're ch it's Chato. I want to set up one of these. I'm going to do a video on putting up a reactor um, on one of our tanks in the store instead of running a traditional refugium. And I'll explain why in that video, why I'm deciding to do that. If you don't already have one of these on your aquarium, I don't know what you're waiting for. It is a random flow generator from VCA. This is Antonio over here, the mastermind behind the product. And the thing just works. It creates random current in your flow naturally. Um, well, not naturally, with this part that you attach to your return without any moving parts, no no electricity, and it really, it really makes a world of difference because we're trying to recreate random ocean-like current in the tank, and this inexpensive little plastic part does exactly that. Check them out. It's RFG, Random Flow Generator from VCA. The nicest Soanthids ever. It's at Soanthids.com. These guys have been around forever. And they branched out, actually not just zoanthids, they got a little bit of everything now. You can get some ghani, some frog spawn, some mushrooms that are simply out of this world. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. But when it comes to, I think, variety of zoanthids and overall health, this is, this is the, he's been doing it a long time. We had a coral show actually in Toronto, what was it, 10 years ago? 
When did you come? At least 10. And he had already been in it for 10 years. So he's, he's been doing it a long time. Long, long time. He actually drove up and uh, set up one of these, one of these booths up in Canada. So that was pretty cool. You have to check them out. That's zoanthids.com. You can't really forget it. It's probably one of the best website names too. Like you got, we paid dearly. He paid dearly for it. Well, I think it was worth it. Very, very nice stuff. See, it's very really nice shapes. Uh -huh. It's this shine to it. Yep. I think originally, it's actually really beautiful stuff. Coral jewelry. So you know what? Something funny at the shop. We get a phone call probably once every week. Someone looking for jewelry because coral is often used in jewelry. So I guess they type it in Google coral, and then our SEO is done really well. So we show up as the first spot there on Google, a frag box, and then we get um, someone calling. We've even had people walk in. I had a woman once get upset that we weren't selling jewelry. Outside. Fuck, I already messed it up. I went that way. I'm telling, it's okay. You have to be my tour guide. You have to tell me which way to go. Okay, so now where? God, damn it. This gentleman sitting here has a nano reef in his house. So I'm gonna actually shout it out in the description below. I'm just kidding. It's a 17,000 gallon, multi-million dollar setup that needs to be watched by anyone in this hobby and I'm going to link it. Okay, I don't know what we found here, but I want to go inside this. <laughs> what is going on inside? A black garbage bag room. Let's go check out some of the raffles. We have something here actually. Oh, I think I see it. There she is. That's the Reef Casa. Frag box six gallon aquarium. We donated it here. I hope someone wins it. Our custom filter floss holder and some frag racks holds 48 of your frags. I thought it'd be cool to just, uh, you know, show them off here in person. And it makes sense because you're buying frags. Maybe you need somewhere to put them. There you go. Check it out. It's reefcasa.com. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. There's a lot in there, huh? There's a lot. Oh. Good, I'm, I'm glad people are uh, trying to win it. We have here in the bag. Mm hmm ta-da! Hat model. Let's see. Oh yeah. Included with the tank, there you go. Free hat with aquarium. Best of luck, go throw it in. Thanks. Best of luck. Oh yeah, I hope you win it, man. It's Art Reef Rocks, pretty cool. Very nice structures. If you're looking for something, if that floats your boat, if that's what you're after, Art Reef Rocks, very nice. And we have more rock. You know what? Scaping is the base of any aquarium. You can love your corals and fish, but where are you going to stick them? What are they going to swim through if you don't have rock? This is Aqua Rocher from France. Oui, c'est magnifique. Je m'appelle Marcel. Au revoir. Jelly head. Jelly head. Yes. All the way from Puerto Rico. Looks good, man. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go to one of the talks. This is one of the cool things about Reef Palooza. We get to learn. You're not just buying corals, connecting with people. Marcelo Ogata. This guy makes some of the most incredible underwater footage. Also, he lives in Canada. So freaking cool. So cool. Thanks so much. Yeah, I created this um, in the past 24 hours. I just put it together with files. Have you seen my son Nemo? Have you seen him? Ah. Check these out. You guys like them? Painted by yours truly. Good. Chris, who did you find? Who did I find? I found Paul. Paul. Yeah. Hello, Reefing Family UK. You might know this face. Looks familiar. In the hat. Wayne at Wards Aquatics. If you're in North Carolina. These are awesome. We have a, a video review on them. You can search. Just a quick setup but I'm super, super impressed with the blades. I thought that it was just going to be like a supplemental light. I didn't fully understand it until setting one up. Awesome lights, crazy power what they're putting out. So check out that video review that we did on the channel. Who wants the hat? Go put the hat. Appreciate. We found a YouTube fan who's been following for a while. Oh, since 2020, so that's when our following was, was small. What'd you buy here, a torch? It was the green machine. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Very nice coral. Awesome job, man. Thank nice you. find. I got when the owner of the company offers you uh, a hoodie, you take one. The world's probably most well known and best coral food out there. If you're not already using it, I'm sure you are. But that is Reforit by Paula Blap. Awesome shit. MC Aquatics. These guys have five locations. I can't imagine that. I got one and it takes up the majority of my time. Um, five, that's a lot. I'm gonna take home a piece of this actually right here. We have a Fabia of the Gods. I've seen it at quite a few of these shows. 
and I've always had my eye on one and I think at the end of the show maybe on Sunday I'll probably snag one of these and take it back with me because I do well with Favias I'm able to grow them sort of a low light aggressive encrusting species of LPS but the color on it is really nice yellow is an unusual color to find in Favia for sure and it's got a very cool yellow with a blue mouth actually now that I think about it those two colors in conjunction on any LPS coral you would be hard to find so it's a really cool piece I'm definitely gonna grab one the booth is right over there Freaking we got love cheese this. so we Check got I got out. donuts I got the Star Wars one Chris did this he also did the really nice mural over a worldwide corals I freaking love this awesome man. okay you guys know that I am a zoa whore I'm always on the front for new zoas and these ones caught my eyes just because they're utter chaos but look how freaking nice they are and I think that's something that really turns me on about the zoas is how much they can change in more color size and even pattern these are way way nicer than mine a little bit smaller but look how saturated the white is on them and this is at RDA Coral so if you're looking for nice zoas and if you haven't ordered from them they have an online shop and they will hook it up actually when it comes to pricing this is one of the least expensive you guys coral prices you always hear me talk about in the videos quite expensive relative to what we're paying but five frags for a hundred bucks that's a steal donation sticker club so that's what I really like about coming to these things hold on let me take the filter not always just about the art I mean about the art but the coral but check these out it's actually um, all handmade octopus stickers I'm in love with these things you send two every month to your house join the sticker club look at this Terrassa clams I think these are my favorite clams out of all of them one because the color is so unusual they got this cool kind of leopardy stripe pattern in it but as well up in Canada very hard for us to find these these are pretty funky too green jawbreaker discosoma mushrooms these are quite cool I don't have a lot of luck growing these but it looks like these guys do and quite a few of them the nicest sumps on the market today period that's it you want a sump you want custom made or you want something ready to go out of the box check out Luna the the craftsmanship is is just perfection and these are really cool so if you've seen these the Red Sea um, roller mats which are awesome also clear sea they're already to go they'll fit inside the sump no modification necessary they're kind of cool because they're color matched you got the red and the black red and black it looks like Red Sea we don't currently have them in Canada but it would be something cool if somebody wanted to distribute them I'm just telling you in person they're just awesome and they come with every single feature that you'd want to see in a sump completely modular they have filter holders dosing line holders heater holders filter floss roller holders they're really really well thought out and they're beautiful they're they're just an attractive looking product if you're looking for that showy kind of show off some this is where you want to look again that is Luna this is a nice one you want a big one you got a six foot tank eight foot tank I'm actually talking to him about doing a custom tank for our line Reef Casa because we have an external version coming of the Studio 24 which will have a stand and then hopefully a Luna sump to compare with every single aquarium that we sell really really like this too this feature so this is all removable and it comes off because this is where your water is coming in and out and it's a place where you're going to experience salt creep no matter what so if you're wanting to keep it clean that's awesome these will come right off take it over to the sink clean it and then pop it back on it's really intelligent there's really no one else on the market doing them like this it's gone you got the last one it's actually really nice very cute Absolutely. Very, very nice of the owner of Polyp Lab to give such, away his very honor. last one. What a nice guy. Thank See, you. Canadians are so nice. Again, we have the AI blade. This is kind of unusual. We're used to seeing when we have a nice display tank, you either have uh, Ecotech Radeon XR30, a Hydra 64, or a Sky. But we have the new AI blades. Again, I'm really, really impressed with them. Look at this. They're running too. Look at the coverage on this tank. And if we had a par meter, I am sure you'd be very surprised on how much power they were putting out. So again, when I first tried one out, I really thought that it was a supplement light. It wasn't going to be used to light your tank. You would run a Radeon and then you use this to add more blue. That's absolutely not true. It's a standalone light with a crazy amount of power that hooks up really, really well. Um, with the AI app which I'm in love with you know that in the shop I'm using the Hydra 32 HDs along with the Nero's they have the new Nero 7 check this out 4,000 gallons an hour the much larger size it is I think still my current favorite wave maker on the market so that pairs really nicely with this under the my AI app 
they're really sleek. Like I'm talking super thin, maybe half an inch this way with a couple different mounting options. They're really, really nice. And then fanless design. So you're not going to have any noise if silence or noise in general is an issue for you. If you, you know, maybe putting it in a library or a bedroom, um, absolutely silent because there is no fan on it. It's just dissi dissipating heat through the design, through the heat sink. I'm really, really impressed with them. We're just getting our first ones to the shop next week. We have a skid coming every single model and color. And again, beautiful color rendition, super easy to program and inexpensive, relatively inexpensive when you look at some of the $1,200 lights that are out there. Again, that's the A. I blade. I can't say enough good things about these lights. Why is the box why is the box so big? Look at this. Look at the box. Look at the box. So sir, I told you you're not allowed to be in this booth. I've been kicked out. Okay, I'm outside the booth. I've left. Look at all this fucking empty space. Why is there so much space? Look at this. Free shit. You take the news. And I'm taking the mug. Really good turnout this year. Check it out. I know that they said they sold 2,000 tickets online alone. Couple of things. We got a lot of people here. Shake it better. Shake more. More, more, more. Yeah. Shake it, shake it. Frag box. All the way from Canada. By 15 inch by 8 inch frag tank. And the winner is. Oh, God. 1398. 1398. Who won it? Congrats. You guys are looking for an aquarium stand. Check these guys out. Alufab. They do the T slot. Aluminum style aquarium stands, which is really nice because they're light, they're easy to move, they're not going to warp. Traditionally, we're making them out of wood if you DIY them, and they're also not going to rust. So, if you're using metal, even if you powder coat it, I promise you over time you're going to get it wet, and the salt is so corrosive it's going to eat through it. But with aluminum, you don't have to worry about that. It's basically going to look like this um, forever and super, super strong. It's called Alu Fab. Very healthy rock bars. Like, oh, yeah? Here, I gotta, I gotta find I'm hiding. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> These are awesome. Oh, you want a hat? For sure. So flow rubios. I really like the way they're presenting the rock flowers. It's super clean with this black acrylic background. And I think there's a lot here. These are probably some of the nicest in terms of color, size, and overall health and like selection, like there's so much variation. I know maybe rock flowers aren't the most exciting for you. If you're here in Florida, you know, you can find them. They're here in the Caribbean, um, in these sort of waters, but for us in Canada, they're not that common. These are really, really nice. This is the single let, nicest let me get this little, this little thing out here. Oh, Ocean Life Aquariums, OLA. Really yellow. I don't think the camera's gonna pick up how truly yellow. This is a yellow, yellow, yellow. I'm gonna say it again, yellow <laughs> bubble dip. Ocean Life Aquariums. That's where we found this Super Saiyan anemone. I'm sure he's gonna sell it here at the show. Uh, it's 1500 bucks. He's, I can almost guarantee he's not gonna bring it home. But if you're looking for one, you can hit him up. Maybe he's got another one for you. This is a really cool piece. This is a Hydnophora. It's not the most common coral. Um, it's not a crazy, you know, Ghani or Torch or Blast on Aiken. Hydnophora. It's, it's really nice though. Very unusual. Quite aggressive. Kind of resembles a Galaxia, but not quite. This is the single nicest bounce mushroom here today. Look at the size of them. Thank you. Vesicles, perfect. Every single person has been saying that exact same yeah. thing. Yeah. It's a Frankenstein? Mm. I don't know how nice this one is. Yeah, it's oh. just incredible. Is this one a Frankenstein? No, it's OG. It's OG, it's bass, OG right? Oh, it's showing off a lot more orange than yeah. I'm used to seeing it kind of like a yellowy green. I'm kind of colorblind, but it's single yeah. nicest bounce and there's a lot of mushrooms here. Really, really yeah. nice. This is a really cool coral we don't see often. First time I'm seeing it today here. This is the Astriopora. It's almost as like if a Cyphastria made love to a Goniopora, you know, and it would encrust, but then it shoots out kind of half-ass tentacles. And I think they're still here because people don't know what they're looking for. It's quite unusual. And they can get even longer on these cool green um, polyps that are falling out of it. It's a really cool piece. And I know you guys always give me shit for not saying where I am and I talk too much about the corals, but we're at Coral Exotic. Maybe you remember him from Anaheim with the really nice bounce mushroom that was in the, came with, I think it came with the aquarium, right? 
Yeah. For yeah. ten grand? Yeah. Yeah, ten grand you get a free aquarium. Very, very nice Off piece. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You gotta hit the sign. Oh <laughs> yeah, look at this. Shek <laughs> shek. I like the tooth. Who added exotic. that? <laughs> very unique. This is one of a kind. This is a WYSIWYG sign for sure. Loves the corals. Love it. Still here. Coral exotic. I haven't left yet because there's one more piece. Very unusual. This blastomusa. You see it? <laughs> It's not. Look at that. It's a bounce zoanthid. So it's your red people eater. But then if you look at the skirt, it's developing vesicles just like you would see on a bounce mushroom. Like that one over there that I showed you a second ago. Except it's not a bounce mushroom. It's a zoanthid. I've never seen that before. That's really cool, man. Check this out. Forget lava lamps. This is way cooler. Bloop. So, Ghanipora, I would say in the last, mm, I want to say five years, have just gotten so popular. There's a lot here. We bring a lot to the store, and it takes something kind of special, I want to say, to get my attention, not to stroke my coral ego. You guys know on the channel, we bring in a ton, a ton of coral. And this one, I can say, absolutely got my attention. This is unlike any other Ghani I've seen here today, any Ghani that I've brought in, any Ghani. In general, this is truly one of a kind piece. We are at Pirates Reef. What do you call this thing? That is the Amaze Balls. Amaze Balls. Very appropriate name because <laughs> it is Amaze Balls. The name is very fitting. What a cool piece. If you was to call it something rainbow, I think it would be fitting. So a lot of times the rainbow's gotten hoard out. Rainbow means nothing. Rainbow this, rainbow that. This is something you got green, you got purple, you got blue, you got red, you got yellow. It's about as rainbow as it's gonna get. But we call it Amaze Balls. Really, really cool piece. The Neptune Apex Competitor. Look at this. The Hydros Controller. Somebody just walked by and said it doesn't even have to work. It just looks good. It's kind of right. This is a very unusual tank. One, because they're not frags. So if you walk around this show, um, for better or for worse, frags are mostly what they're selling. You're not going to find large colonies. So in that regard, this is, this is quite unusual. They're big. They're LPS, they're healthy, they, they look like they haven't moved. And I gotta show you this, this is a three mouth Cynaria. That is really cool, Cynarina, sorry. And Acanthophilia, look at this. Usually when we get Acanthos, they're solitary LPS, meaty, fleshy corals. This is typical, this is a really nice one. One mouth, one body. Check out these, we have three and four mouth Acanthophilias. You're definitely not gonna see something like that every day. They almost resemble um, closer to like an open brain, the way they have the folds and crevices on their body. Yes, check out Endophilia. Beautiful pattern, color, purple on green, which is kind of an unusual, um, unusual color combination to find together. And so you guys don't give me shit because I know I always forget to say <laughs> where I am. TV, check it out. There is the contact info. If you're looking for some badass monster LPS, this is not going to fit in your Pico Aquarium because it's bigger than your Pico tank. This is not going to fit in your Fluval Evo 13 and a half gallon. This is big aquariums only club. And one more before I move on. I try and do a mix of the hardware, the lights, the rock, talking to people, give out hats and corals. This is another weird one. Halithoa grandis. If you don't know what it is, I suggest you Google it. Because this is one coral you may want to handle with a little bit of respect and caution. It's not like every other coral out there. Palithoa grandis. G-R-A-N-D-I-S. I found, I really like these. If you got to get like a mushroom or a soft coral that you can't traditionally glue down. Some corals when you frag them, um, they need to attach on their own to a piece of gravel. This is an ingenious little tool. It comes with a magnet, a little box. You throw in some gravel, throw in your mushroom. And give it some time to, uh, to heal and attach to that piece before you go and glue it down. Very nice job, and it look, feels like it's really well made with a strong magnet. P N W Custom. Oh, look at that! They're in Portland. They're pretty cool. I like this. We're almost out of hats. Come find me. Oh yeah, it looks good. Custom made. That was made just for you. Great hat. You know this good-looking fella from the Indonesia series. This is Patrick from the Reef Wholesale, and he found. What did he find? I found an apple. What the Perfect fuck, lunch. man? It's I'm so being healthy. What, the coral show, and the guy <laughs> comes with an apple. There we go. This is the biggest snake we have. Neptune, Ecotec, BRS, some more Neptune. This is it. These are the, the head honchos here. All under the name. You have a new tank, you have an old tank, it doesn't matter. Do yourself a favor. If you can find these, these are reef nutrition. 
Apex and Tigger pods. It will help to increase the biodiversity of pods in your tank. They're going to reproduce and it's just great for all around aquarium health. Um, they'll eat algae, detritus, and it provides a tasty snack for your fish and corals it's called Tigger and Apex Pods. Look for that reef nutrition. Awesome product. Probably one of the coolest and biggest innovations, I would say, in reef tank filtration since the invention of the protein skimmer. This is Smarter Reef. So what they have is it looks like a filter floss roller, which it sort of is. This is a self-cleaning skimmer. So typically you would have a skimmer head that fills up with crap and you go ahead and clean it out. This incorporates a roller. So instead of you cleaning it, it's just constantly um, rolling and taking out that gunk. And now he has a filter floss roller built in with self-cleaning skimmer. If you want to learn more about it, it's pretty cool. It's at Smarter Reefs. There's really nothing else on the market today like this. You can buy it directly through the site. Um, it's pretty neat. So look look into it. Self-cleaning skimmer. What corals did you buy today? Hi. So cute. Tell me when. Yeah. Just watching this at work right now. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. My friends here, Miami Corals, tell me that these grow like a weed for them. They're red hornets for some reason. I do pretty good with zoas, but this is one that's always escaped me. I've never really been able to grow it. you have any secrets to growing this thing? Nope. Dirty water, clean water, high flow, low light, love, care, classical love. music, all the above. Love. love. Lots of love. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to take one with me back to the cold country of Canada, and I'm going to try loving it this time and see if that works. Check it out. You want to see who gave me this? The man himself. What's up? What's up? What's up? Check it out. That is the largest vesicle I've ever seen on a bounce mushroom. Wow. So we are getting close to the end of Reef Palooza on Sunday. It dies down quite a bit at the end. And if you're looking for a deal on corals, now is the time. Vendors really don't want to bring stuff home. And this is when the my alter ego comes out, March the Zoa Hunter. And I start looking for what I'm going to bring back with me. Um, I do I do not haggle the vendors here ever if they reduce the price at the end of the day I'm happy to pay less, but I'm not gonna ask anyone. I'm not gonna haggle them You guys absolutely more than welcome to do that. It's part of the fun, but as a vendor as someone who sells corals um, I don't do that. It's just I don't uh, it's not fun when someone does it to me I'm used to it of course over the years, but I don't do that to other vendors just being sort of on that same side We were here yesterday look almost all gone these guys did really well. It's nice to see. It's really good turnout compared to last year's. Awesome, awesome turnout. Check them in those. Check it. Great way to transport if you come into one of these. My friends over here again, Miami Coral. If you're in the Miami area, check them out. Hooking up one of these so I can bring home a couple of these beautiful zoas. Keep going, keep going. Whoa, keep rapping. Oh, oh damn. Getting too dizzy. We don't want it to get scratched. That is a big sum. How big of a tank? This is gonna multiple frag tanks at the uh, RVA coral farm. Wow. Oh, RVA. Oh, just shot some stuff with them. Shout out, RVA. Very nice sump. Haha, <laughs> look, he's not looking. Taking one of these. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you saw Very exciting. Bro, Everyone's staring at it. You like saw that. in the meantime, Sever pass a commercial about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all placing I, I bets. Just, I, just I got $10 on the, uh, on the fox face. Which one will go in first? Look at this, guys. You know what this is? It might look like a hand towel, but it's not. It's actually free shit. Okay, let's go get the other ones. Dun, da, da, da. Zoa me, baby. Look what, I, look what I got, a cup. Okay, boys and girls, that's it. It's over two days and 12 hours of recording later. We're gonna wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed coming to Reef Palooza along with me here in Orlando. We will be at Reef Palooza in New York. Uh, if you're there this coming, I think it's June 24th, June 25th. I was really impressed again I was first impressed when we first saw them But again looking at the AI blades over this tank right here, and I can't wait to try out the new Nero 7 I'm a big aqua illumination um, fanboy, so I'm a little bit biased because I absolutely love their products. Not because they sponsor the channel or anything like that. They just they just make really good stuff. Okay, if you like this episode, if you like the content, if you like everything that we're about here on Fragbox, give us a thumbs up because it really does help the tricky YouTube algorithm. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right corner, which will notify you when we do one of these again. And I will say goodbye and have a very nice morning or afternoon or maybe evening, wherever you're watching from. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>